All right, here's Mick here. And today I am installing the Condor, I think it's a SC200. Yeah, it doesn't say what model it is. I think this is the Condor SC200. I'll post that title below what, what it is. But, uh, so I just got this off today off a uh, fellow barfer. And, uh, and I'm trying to install it on my trailer. So as you can see here, I've, I'm upgrading my trailer to chocks that like hold the bike up by itself because uh, I'm sick and tired of having to hold the bike straight up when I tie it down. <laughs> And, and I'm sick and tired of, of like almost dropping the bike every time I take the, the bike off of the straps, you know? <laughs> um, I want something that holds the bike securely. But anyway, I'm, I'm making this video to show you a, a quick uh, kind of how to uh, install this guy. So I've kind of figured it out. Um, I was kind of scratching my head for a second. Um, this is actually my old chalk right here and I, I'm still probably going to use it. I don't know, maybe. I'm going to leave it on there. Um, but it installs like totally different this one actually goes this way so way forward but it ends up in the same place your front wheel is going to be here the really nice thing about this guy is it's adjustable you can move it any way you want you can even move the the, the, um, the cradle part here um, and yeah there's so so I have a Harbor Freight one there and there's like no adjustability on that this one tons of adjustability Jeez. so that's why it costs like a lot more than that <laughs> so I'm gonna say um, and uh, we'll see how well it does against the elements because it's going to be staying on the trailer. Um, so anyway, I've already kind of got it in position and I'm just going to talk you how, uh, how I got it. Um, basically, uh, I lined up the edge where my old chalk was. Like I said, this one, there's, a, there's some mounts under there. You can see it right there. It clicks, clicks on right there and then it bolts on and then it pretty much that's where it ends like right here so this is where i want to install it so you got to figure out where you want to install it on your trailer and this is a harbor freight folding trailer by the way you guys don't recognize it it's a good old chinese trailer man the best um and then uh and then so what i've done so there's these there are adjustment plates here uh, not adjustment plates. There's mounting plates on this and you can actually buy separate mounting plates if you want to move the chalk to different positions. I've actually bought another set but uh, I'm just going to install the, this one today. So you got to figure out where you want to mount it and then I was like scratching my head like well, how the hell am I going to know where to, where to drill, drill the holes because the holes are covered by the plate now so I don't know Okay, he's big here. So, <laughs> okay, I'm, try I'm trying to shoot a how to install this video. It's actually quite simple. I actually just installed it the wrong way. <laughs> I installed the mounting plates the wrong way. So, I was wondering why, why isn't this working? It's not supposed to sit on top of the bolts like that. Well, it won't if you do it horizontally. Okay, so, so this is the Condor SC2000, I think. I'll put a subtitle below what model it is. Um, it's a very nice chalk, lots of adjustability. Um, and uh, I got it for a pretty good price from a bar for so, so, uh, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Um, the cool thing is you can adjust it up and down and you can move the uh, this guy and you can fold this down. Lots of adjustability in this guy. Um, so, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to mount it on a, on a Harbor Freight trailer like I have right here. It has a wooden deck on it. So. All right, so I kind of installed it wrong already. I was wondering how to how to install it, and like how are you gonna how do you know where to drill the holes because it's underneath. Well, it's not supposed to be underneath, okay? So the way you're gonna install this thing is um, it's like this. It's got to be horizontal. If it's horizontal, the the bolts don't interfere with the with the deck of the, the chalk. So. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this onto this real quick. Okay, so I've, okay. I've assembled it. Um, I've got the thumb screws on here, and and then the plates are are up and are perpendicular to the plate here. So this, and then you got to figure out where you want to install it. This is where I want to install it right here. Um, I got it's pretty much it's actually a little too forward from where it's supposed to be, but the good thing is you can adjust it. So. Um, I could move it back. The reason I want it here is because, so if I, if I, for whatever reason, I would still want to use this, I could still use it, you know? So. Yeah, so, so yeah. Um, so that's how I want, how I'm going to want to install it. And it's wanting to roll forward. <laughs> um, okay, and then basically wherever you want it is where you're going to drill it. So we're going to use a 
1332. I don't know if you can see that, but that's 1332 right there. I'll put a subtitle below. Drill bit to drill that. And then, and then the mounting hardware is already up here. It's these long kind of bolts. It uses a 14 millimeter, but uh, it's a SAE. So. And it has a locking nut and some washers. So. Okay. So, so we're going to go ahead and drill the holes now. Because I got it where I, I would want say, it. I would say it's like kind of not in the ideal place right now. You probably want it to be in the middle. If you can put it in the middle, go for it. I can't really do it because it'll get in the way of the other chalk. If, uh, if I install the mounting plates in front of that bracket there. So I'm trying to do it behind. But the good thing is I can move it back. It's a little too, too much forward anyway. So. Alright, here we go. Okay, real easy, just drill the holes. So now I'm gonna go install the mounting hardware. You're gonna wanna put your bolts on the top here. Okay, and then go install the nuts and the washer on the other side. Okay, there it is. I installed it. I used uh, basically a, I used an impact gun with a 14 millimeter and then a 14 millimeter closed end on the top, um, and it did the trick. Works real good. There it is. It's installed. Ain't going nowhere. I'm afraid it's gonna flex a little bit, but the wheel the motorcycle on the trailer. Uh, when you get the motorcycle in the shock, this is gonna go down like that, and then. Uh, your wheel will basically be right here, so it's not going to put a lot of downward pressure on the front. But well, it kind of will. It, it's gonna, it's gonna push forward on this. But those mounting plates are super beefy, so I don't think you're gonna have any problem with that. And the good thing is, so if you want to adjust it, you take these, um, these kind of thumb nuts, thumb screws, out, and then you can move it to any one of these uh, holes right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, I may actually move it back a little bit because I have a I have a moped and it's really short. So as long as it's not hanging off the back of the trailer, we'll be fine. So, all right. So there you go. That's how to install your Condor SC2000 trailer. It's really easy. So uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, hopefully that does the trick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it should be pretty solid. So it's actually really easy. Uh, the way I did it before, as I had did it like this way instead of this way so it's a lot easier this way all right here's what we got okay here's making here this is just a little another uh video clip i'm going to add to the end of the condor chalk uh installation video um so so what i've learned is that these back um the really the holes in the all the way in the back here they don't line up with any of the other holes out of the whole out of this whole uh all these holes and stuff they all these ones all line up, even that front one there, except for the back one. So um, if you're going to mount it on the back one, you won't be able to move the, ch the chalk front and back. So so what I've opted to do for this one, and I'm using a separate um, uh, mount kit. You can get those kits um, for $20 on Amazon, I think. Um, if you order it from Condor Straight, I think it's like 30 bucks. So, um, But you can get, find them on Amazon. Basically, the the kit is basically it's just another one of these. It's the two mounting plates, um, four bolts, four four washers, and four locking nuts. And they also give you a new set of uh, a new set of thumb thumb bolts or thumb screws. So so that's good. I got an extra set of these just in case I lose them. Um, but I'm using the old ones right now. So so yeah. So this time I, instead of 
instead of installing this bar behind here, I installed it in the front. And I actually checked if I could still actually use that with that bar there, and you can. So, um, so if I wanted to go back to my old chalk setup, you know, the good old old school classic chalk, quick release chalk, um, I could still do it. So, um, but yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, um, so when I get it all together, I'll show you it. I'll show you that you can like line up the holes in different places, but I'm installing it uh, a mount and the center. So for when I have one bike, it won't be like you know off center. You know, if I only have one bike, I'm just going to use the center chuck. This one will always be here, um, and and then if I have two bikes, I just move it from here to here. And usually the lighter, the lightest of the bikes will usually be here on the right side. Um, I want it more back so it doesn't interfere so the handlebars don't interfere with each other and like uh yeah so pr pretty much so the handlebars don't interfere with each other um what i might do is what i might do is move one of these mounts here or maybe move this mount forward so we can do the same thing move it back and forth but um because because with my electric with the electric uh bike and the, with the two electric bikes um the, the handlebars interfere with each other. If I could move one of the bikes farther back, because the other bike has a smaller wheelbase, so if we move it back, it won't matter. You can you can move the the bike as far back as you want until until like it's it's like the wheel is almost off the trailer. But yeah, so that's what I want to say. But ideally, I think you want to have your weight you want to have your weight as far forward as possible. So if it's not a lot of weight, it's okay. So anyway. Um, so I decided to align this one with this one here. So, uh, yeah. So, and then this one will come off, and you can actually fold this chalk, the the condor chalk down too, if you're not going to use it. But I would just take it off. What, what I've opted to do is I'm just going to take the chalk off whenever I'm not using it. I'll probably put it in my trailer box or just inside the van. So um, that that way, you know, people don't mess around with it. Because there's a lot of stuff that you can take off on this chalk easily. Like you just pull the pin, pull. Pull that pin, pull that pin, and this whole thing comes out. This is this this assembly alone is like sixty, seventy dollars. Um, and then you could take the the front chalk part out um, by just taking those pins out. So it's just just there's a lot of parts that can come out, and it's a very expensive chalk. So I don't wanna I don't wanna get it stolen. So so I'm just whenever I don't use it, I'm just gonna remove it. And and the, using these thumb screws and stuff make it make it that much easier. So. I'm going to see if I can kind of get a wing nut, but these ones actually don't take up a lot of space. See, so you can actually put it right next to the bar here um, so it doesn't get in the way. But I would think it would, it might interfere with this. It might interfere with this hole, so I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air. Well, I already drilled a hole, so it's too late. <laughs> okay. But but uh, but it, I looked at the manual, and it said, like, for every, like, for... For like every wheel, there's like one or two choices you can pick. There's like, there's one or two, and then there's like, a, there's even a three, third choice that you can use for the, for the, um, the cradle setting. So, uh, so like you don't have, you're not limited to use one. You can, there's ones that are like, they're close, you know. Um, they said you, when you, when you load the bike on, you, you want it so, um, so the wheel isn't touching the base of the chalk. You want it to be kind of like suspended in the air, sort of, kind of. You got it? Or else it'd be like really hard to get out or something, I guess. Um, all right. Okay, so there I'll show it you is. What it looks That's the whole dealy right there. Okay, so uh, actually, I checked in the Condor manual, and it said to use two for a 19, but I, I feel that if two was a little wobbly, three holds it a little better. But yeah, it's pretty much, it's up there, and it's not tied down right now, so... Um, yeah, so that's that's when you're gonna be when I'm gonna be using one, one uh, one bike. Um, I'm gonna put it in the center like that. And I think that should be. Fine. Um, the engine is like pretty much a little bit in front of the axle, which is kind of where you want it. Uh, I think you want the weight as close to the rear axle as possible, so it doesn't. Well, well, if anything, you want you at least you want the you want the weight to be between the. The axle and like the other wheel, the, between the two axles, basically. So uh, as much as possible, you don't want too much weight hanging off the other end, um, which is it's perfect the way it is right now. So. Um, could I move the chalk more forward? Yeah, we don't have to. 
Yeah, we don't have to. Actually, we can't. This is as far. So this is as far forward as I can move the chalk. Um, that's what I want to say. So that's with my KLX 140 with its dirt wheels that uses a 19-inch front. You could put it backwards. Um, it would be kind of a pain in the ass to load it backwards. Um, this bike, not so much. It's because it's pretty light. This light, this bike is pretty light. I would say, yeah, if you wanted to load it up backwards, you probably could. But uh, um, a heavier bike, I wouldn't load it backwards. <laughs> it would make it getting off the trailer easy, though. Um, but I feel, I feel loading it forward is probably the best. But you could load it backwards if you wanted. That's what I want to say. All right, so there it is. It's all on there, and I also labeled all the holes and stuff for the adjustments and stuff. So I'm probably gonna write on the other side too. It's um, in the manual, one is in the back, and then five is towards the center more. So, so on the other side, it'll be one. It'll be one, but it'll be like on this side, kind of one, right? Because it's flipped around. So, all right, there it is. It's the Condor Chalk with a uh, uh, using different mount configuration. So, um, so this. This trailer is set up to, to hold like two bikes. I could actually hold three bikes because I have I still have I can still use my old chocks. I made it so I could use my old chocks if I wanted to. Um, so this one, this one chalk will actually go there and there. There's, this one has a mount for this one and this one. And it's very easy to put on too. So and I could put this back over here too if I didn't have the condor chalk. So um, I have a lot of options is what I'm gonna say. Could you put three bikes on here? Man. <laughs> You know what? That's a good question. I bet I could. I could. I could put the light. Be. I could put this little one here. I could put the little one here, right here on the left, right. And then, yeah. But there just wouldn't be a lot of space. I think if you could put two bikes backwards and then one forward, then that would be ideal. You know, that you could probably get away with that. But that's a loss. Bikes is trapped. <laughs> I don't plus I don't know if this trailer this trailer could probably handle three small bikes um, So yeah, there it is pretty happy with it. Um, and then just to take it off Pull the bike out and you take these screws out Chalk comes off and then you just I just throw it in the back of my van like or I could put it inside my little box here But I think it'd be better if I put it in the van so. And then like I guess when I'm traveling with it, I'm just gonna leave it like that um, one good thing to do, yeah, one good thing to do if you're like going on a long camping trip and you're afraid somebody's going to steal your, because this is really easy to take out. All you have to do is unscrew it, you know. I would go buy some bolts, regular bolts like this with the hex head, and then just get the really short ones, and then, and then use, and then bolt it down like that instead. So you don't, so it's not easy to take out. Um, yeah, because I know that would suck if you were on, uh, going on a motorcycle camping trip and then, uh, freaking somebody stole your truck <laughs> that would be horrible then you wouldn't have any way to bring your bike back you know um, of course there's still that other chalk over there too so all right well thanks for watching so that's that's the end of the uh the saga so the thing is you could uh the thing is all these holes they line up with each other you can move it around you know front and back except for the rear one i found out the rear one is drilled differently than all the other ones so unfortunately you can't do that I found out that I can I can make this wider too. Um, this these ones are spaced closer to each other. These ones are wider, so you got a lot of options of how you can mount it. So, uh, and if I wanted to move this back a little more, I could. Um, I could move it back one, two, maybe one more. I could move it back one. Yeah, yeah. So I really don't have a lot. Actually, the way I set it up, uh, I don't have a lot of options of how I can thing it. I can only move it back one one thing so uh, why i'd want to do that i don't know um it's in the dirt bike is in the optimum position right now in my opinion i don't i don't think you would want it any more forward or any more back because um, all the weight is situated like right here because where the engine is you know so yeah all right cool deal well thus far i'm pretty happy with this condor check it's it's really good really highly recommend it it's pricey and you probably don't want to leave it on your trailer. This is my only bet. Uh, somebody, somebody could pretty easily steal it, or steal a component off of it. So, and then the the components are expensive for this. If people knew how like how much this is worth, you know, you know it would suck. <laughs> it's a really stout unit. The good thing is, if you take it off, 
um, you don't have to leave it out in the um, you know you're not leaving it out in the elements so and I'm just putting it on when I use it so cool cool all right that's the end of the condor uh, installation vlog if you guys have enjoyed it um, I hope that uh, helps decide if you want to purchase one of these um, like I said I got it for a pretty damn good deal so I can't can't complain much <laughs> um, yeah okay let's make up